is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicolas Padillo and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and Family, Dr. Jean Rafanan and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene and Nanit Avila and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Lorenzo Bok and Family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and Family. Together with our personal intentions, let us offer this Mass today for the intentions of all those who are commemorating their birthdays or anniversaries today, and for all those who are virtually participating in this telecast and stream celebration. We also continue to pray for the needs of all those who tirelessly support the Apostolate of CCT and through prayer intentions, love offerings, sponsorships, and reassuring goodwill. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Dear sisters and brothers, let us now acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries.
Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. of your Son have raised up a fallen world. Feel your faithful with holy joy. For on those you have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Rejoice with Jerusalem and be glad because of her, all you who love her. Exalt, exalt with her, all you who are mourning over her. Oh, that you may suck fully of the milk of her comfort that you may nurse with delight at her abundant breasts. For thus says the Lord, Lo, I will spread prosperity over Jerusalem like a river, and the wealth of the nations like an overflowing torrent. As nurslings, you shall be carried in her arms and fondled in her lap, as a mother comforts her child so will I comfort you. In Jerusalem you shall find your comfort. When you see this, your heart shall rejoice and your bodies flourish like the grass, 
the Lord's power shall be known to his servants. The word of the Lord. Praise be to God. letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, may I never boast except in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, through which the world has been crucified to me and I to the world. 
For neither does circumcision mean anything, nor does uncircumcision, but only a new creation. Peace and mercy be to all who follow this rule, and to the Israel of God. From now on, let no one make troubles for me, for I bear the marks of Jesus on my body. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit, brothers and sisters. Amen. The word of the Lord. From the Holy Gospel according to Luke. At that time, the Lord appointed 72 others whom He sent ahead of Him in pairs to every town and place He intended to visit. He said to them, The harvest is abundant, but the laborers are few. So ask the master of the harvest to send out laborers for his harvest. Go on your way. Behold, I am sending you like lambs among wolves. Carry no money bag, no sack, no sandals, and greet no one along the way. Into whatever house you enter, first say, Peace to this household. If a peaceful person lives there, your peace will rest on him. But if not, it will return to you. Stay in the same house and eat and drink what is offered to you, for the laborer deserves his payment. Do not move about from one house to another. Whatever town you enter and they welcome you, eat what is set before you. Cure the sick in it and say to them, The kingdom of God is at hand for you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. A blessed Sunday to us. I just read the short version of today's Gospel reading. The longer version includes the return of the twelve from the mission that the, uh, the, the, the twelve, the seventy-two or the seventy uh, from their mission. The very purpose why I read the, sh the shorter form is because our focus for today's Gospel reading is actually centered on what kind of mission was the Lord Jesus sending them. And part of understanding this context is St. Luke's Gospel's way of relating together or through the number 70 or 72. Now, ngano maning magfluctuate maning number ng 70 or 72? It actually depends on the, the the basis of the translation. Okay, there are two translations that are based. The other translation is using 72 because according to the the understanding, Saint Jerome actually, no, the the patron saint of Bible scholars, has a way has a way of relating 72 to the known territories of the whole wide world during the writing of St. Luke's Gospel. In other words, the mission or the sending is represented by the 72 and it means it is a universal mission. 
it is not limited to, to one or two or five or how many uh, particular territories only. It is whole, the whole world. And then another thing that is so interesting here is the number 70, which somehow brings us back to the book of Numbers, chapter 11, where Moses was told by God, by the Lord God, to select 70 elders to help him judge the nation or the people. While well, they, they were still, uh, you know, wandering or journeying in the wilderness. But what kind of, of, of sense or essence is the involvement of the seven, number 70 here is that the essence of their mission is prophetic. And this is where we have to take a look into. Because the mission of the 72 is actually by nature prophetic. And prophetic, when we say prophetic, it is not just about announcing. It's not just about proclaiming the gospel or the good news. Because there is another end, another end. There are two sides of the coin of prophecy. Prophecy is to announce, and what, what is to be announced? The good news. But on the other hand, prophecy is also to denounce. So it's both announcement and denouncement. And denouncement is the most difficult part. Because when you, when you announce, it's easy. Just say something, just say it out loud. Bahala nag mamati ang mga tao, just as the gospel reading says. If they are not hospitable to you, then uh, your peace will come back to you. No? The proclamation or the announcement is always about peace, which is shalom. And shalom is not just, how are you? No? You know, in, in Hebrew, when you greet each other, you say, mashlom ha. No? How is your peace? How are you? How are you feeling? How are you doing? But it goes beyond it. Because that shalom has also something to do with God's presence. And that is the reason why it's, it is easy to say, to proclaim. It is easy to announce, regardless of the response. But when we are denouncing anhatadiha muti uruk, no? that is where we are always put in a crucible. We are put in a quandary. We are put in a puzzlement. Or we are even held back. Nanuman, it's so difficult to denounce when you are speaking to the people you know. Or when you are speaking to, uh, you know, you know what I'm talking about. That's the reason why prophecy as the mission of the 72 is not an easy task. And this is one interesting thing that we have to take into account. I can, I can even say, mag-practice kuno taong ka ng denounce, denounce. No? Pero magbantay lang sa takay. Sometimes, when it comes to our system, no, ganahan ka ayaw tamo denounce, but we cannot because Filipinos, no? Utang na loob or something. Or, from the general perspective, from the order of things, to denounce is not just something or a, an occasion that you can say something against. You have to use the proper words in doing it. And then, after the proper words, you have to have the proper time. Kay usahay ang atong tendency, out of time. Munang daghan kayong masilo. No? Kay out of time man. So we have to really wait for a, a, an appropriate time for it. And then, next is the proper place to say it. No, not in public, but privately, as much as possible. That's what the Lord Jesus told his disciples. If you have something against your brother, settle it with, between the two of you. And there are, of course, uh, additional conditions there. And the final thing to consider is also say the denouncement to the proper person. Ngano man, usahay atong isulti sa dili hingtong dan. Munay, munay gigikanan sa kagubot. Because we, we may be denouncing, pero wala da idea ang imong giingnan. O nya, makaabot na lang na dito sa hingtong dan, 
through other people, which is also a hurting experience for the person concerned. And so this is where we have to take into account how serious and how, how heavy the mission is. But regardless of who and what we are, especially we are Christians and baptized, this is our mission in life. And to add another dimension to the gospel reading today is that the sending of the disciples of the, of the, two, of the 70 or 72 into pairs is that the mission is particip participative. It is a collaboration. It is something that we participate in. Atong panagsawan. Muna nga kinahanglan o pairs, tinagurha. And where do we see this in the context of our lives? Husbands and wives are together in the mission. Friends, teachers and students, any other relationship, a relationship is always the basis for the mission. Because the very heart of the kingdom of God is God himself making a relationship with us. And if ever there are cases that only one person is doing, it is still part of the participate, participative nature of it. Because even single-handedly, a person can still do what he or she can because God is with him or with her. So what gay mag inusara? And so with this perspective of the mission, hopefully, and as we continue to struggle with the many different challenges of the gospel, we continue to be his ministers. We continue to be his vessels. We continue to be the, the source of the blessings that he has, not only for ourselves, but for our brothers and sisters as well. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For as men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death, was buried, and the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Father, continue to send laborers of your harvest, even in our own time. May generous and brave people accept the challenge of announcing the gospel. And so with confidence, we now pray, listen to us, O Lord. Listen to us, O Lord. May the church, the people of God, be filled with joy and peaceful hearts as we continue the work of evangelization and being heralds of truth. We pray. Listen to us, O Lord. May public servants realize that they too are missionaries called to bear witness to the gospel of truth in the vast and complex world of politics, economics, industry, education, science, the arts, and the media of social communication. We pray. Listen to us, O Lord. May all missionaries and religious continue to show mercy and compassion to those who are in need and, in, and are suffering. May they not be discouraged when faced with cold reception or even hostility in their mission. We pray. Listen to us, O Lord. May all families 
bring the radical message of the gospel, even if doing so makes them downright unpopular, for the cross may be a scandal or folly to some people. We pray. Listen to us, O Lord. May those who have died find solace in the light, peace, and mercy of God. We pray. Listen to us, O Lord. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Listen to us, O Lord. Father, you sent Jesus to be one with us and to show us your endless love for humanity. May we continue his mission and be worthy to be called his disciples. We ask this to the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Sisters and brothers, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven through Christ our Lord. and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord Holy Father Almighty and Eternal God through Christ our Lord for by his birth he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state and by his suffering cancelled out our sins by his rising from the dead, he has opened the way to eternal life. And by ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim.
the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my high blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord. We profess your resurrection until you come again. Until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, with Midifil, his assistant bishop, all bishops and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father,
Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. For thine is the kingdom, the, the power and the Christ has said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us now share with each other the sign of peace. Shalom. The Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. spiritual communion my Jesus I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you never permit me to be separated from you O oh my God, my only hope, I have placed all my trust in you, and I know I shall not be disappointed.
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you through Christ our Lord. Oracio Imperata, merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strengthen their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O most holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Señor Santo Nino, Our Lady of Guadalupe, Our Lady Health of the Sick, Saint Joseph, Saint Rafael the Archangel, San Roque, San Lorenzo Ruiz, San Pedro Calungsod. The Lord be with you. Now bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Bestow pardon and peace, O Lord, we pray upon your faithful, that they may be cleansed from every offense and serve you with untroubled hearts. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you. The Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the Holy Eucharist has been offered. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.
coverage of the Holy Mass is brought to you by Mr. and 